A team led by researchers Chen Zianhui, Wu Tao, and Wang Jinayo from the caged superconductor, CSV3SB5, found a new sort of electronic pneumatic phase, an electron fluid that spontaneously disrupts a lattice's rotational symmetry. What is the significance of this discovery? Find out in this video of Tech News. The discovery of this condition, known as a pneumatic phase, was previously a theoretical prediction and demonstrates that electrons can interweave and combine into unusual configurations. The two-dimensional cage structure is especially interesting to the researchers because theoretically, two-dimensional caged systems can display unique superconductivity and a large number of electronic order states, but there has been a considerable gap in the availability of suitable material systems to actualize these phenomena. The discovery of caged superconductors CSV3SB5 opens up new avenues for this system of research. CSV3SB5 is a superconducting ground state Z2 topological Kagam metal. The team in this study combined scanning tunneling microscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance, and elastic resistance three experimental techniques to find that before the system enters the superconducting state, the triple modulated charge density wave state will further evolve into a thermodynamically stable electron pneumatic phase. The electron pneumatic phase is important because it can be used in quantum hall insulators, high temperature superconductors, and electronic systems. The new electron pneumatic phase has Z3 symmetry and is theoretically described by the three-state POTS model, so the researchers decide to call it the POTS pneumatic phase. The POTS model, a generalization of the Ising model, is a statistical mechanics model of interacting spins on a crystalline lattice. Interestingly, this new electronic pneumatic phase has also been recently observed in Bilayer corner graphene systems. Also, the team determined that the transition temperature was around 63 Rankin, Personal thoughts, I personally believe this study improve our understanding of the interweaving order in correlated electron systems, thus also improving our understanding of unconventional superconductivity. I also personally believe that this study provided clues and ideas on how to better understand PDWs in high temperature superconductors. How do you think the findings in this study will be used in our path to singularity? That's all I got for this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification icon. I make videos talking about science, technology, and singularity. Check out some of my other videos. See you all next time.